Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Verdi Fletcher, and I'm the President, Founding Artistic Director of the Dancing Wheels Company in School. And we want to welcome you to this informational session based on um, information that we've created for our certification programs. The Dancing Wheels Company is the first uh, physically integrated dance company in America. And this year, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary. But as a result of the work that we've done over these 40 years, we have found that um, we have a technique in our inclusive training that um, many instructors are interested in obtaining. We have also found that there are a growing number of artists with disabilities who are looking to be educated on the same level as their non-disabled peers. So this certification program is a process by which educators can learn the techniques of partnering and translation, among other things, uh, to be able to work in an inclusive classroom setting. And Mark Tomasic is going to tell you a little bit more about how we develop this training. Thanks, Mary. Hi, everybody. My name is Mark Tomasic. I am an artistic advisor to Dancing Wheels, and I've been working with the company since 1994 in various capacities, including a dancer, tour manager, rehearsal director, choreographer, and teacher. And um, when I went to graduate school, I was really passionate about wanting to um, include in my research a way to develop a curriculum for integrating dancers with disabilities and non-disabled dancers in the same classroom setting. And to date, that really hadn't been done before. So I knew that I had this huge base of knowledge um, from decades of work uh, that Dancing Wheels had been doing already. And what I did was I ended up combining that with scientific research that I discovered regarding athletes with disabilities um, and people of the general population who were disabled and looking at movement practices and principles that were used for those folks and combining them with the creative research that had been done at Dancing Wheels. And in this way, we were able to start creating a curriculum that was based on scientific fact, but also artistic inquiry. And we developed a training manual and DVD and since then, the, this um, training curriculum has morphed and developed and grown. And we like to wrap it within these foundational principles. And there's four foundational principles that um, support this kind of teaching. And those principles are translation, equity, accessibility, and meaning. So when you come to study teacher training at Dancing Wheels, you're going to learn all about those foundational principles and how they can assist you in teaching all of your students and reaching all of your students, um, no matter their level, no matter their um, ability or disability. Um, these principles can be used over any form of dance and any technique, any genre. We've had teachers come in and train with us who are um, hip hop teachers, who are jazz teachers, these principles have been used with tap dance, with flamenco dance. Uh, we tend to train at Dancing Wheels in ballet and modern techniques. But again, no matter what technique you're teaching, no matter what level of student you're teaching, from beginner to pre-professional or professional, these teaching techniques can enhance what you're doing in your classroom. So I want to turn it over now to Sarah Lawrence Cicado, and she's going to tell you about our first level of teacher training. Thank you, Mark. As Mark mentioned, I'm Sarah Lawrence Cicado. I'm the rehearsal director and director of outreach for the company and school. And in the level one, um, we are having our participants expecting to be able to teach to a, a beginner to intermediate level in a dance class in the genre of their choosing and um, using the Dancing Wheels methodology. So you apply your knowledge to instruct students in historical, social, cultural, and artistic context surrounding disabilities. 
Uh, participants will also be able to apply their knowledge to instruct students in appropriate physically integrated dance terminology and protocols. Uh, they will evaluate a dance training and performance space for accessibility and make implement appropriate recommendations for improvement. Participants will also be able to gain a working knowledge of wheelchair mechanics related to various physical disabilities to teach students how to safely and artistically maneuver a wheelchair in a dance environment. In the course of the week, participants will create three lesson plans towards an inclusive dance class. The lesson plans revolve around a warm-up, an exercise that moves across the floor, and an exercise that incorporates some kind of a turn or a jump. And um, please know for participants that you can teach in the level of your, or excuse me, in the um, genre of your choosing. So although you'll have an opportunity to take a ballet and modern class from us and experience the translations for those, uh, you are able to teach in the genre of your choosing. And a little bit more in that week for the level one training, you're going to have an accessibility stroll, taking a look at our studio for accessibility and also a couple of examples from our community um, just outside and nearby. Um, you'll learn more about the language and the terminology that we use within Dancing Wheels methodology of physically integrated dance. And you're also going to learn a lot about the history of physically integrated dance. Um, and even before Dancing Wheels started, some of the history of disabilities and how that ties into um, Dancing Wheels existence. And um, there are written and practical assessments throughout the week. Um, you'll also receive a Dancing Wheels training manual and DVD that coincides with the training. And there's a packet of information that you'll receive uh, complete with important handouts, a personalized training uh, with all of the master teachers, master teaching artists that you see here. And there's a certification or a certificate of completion um, upon completing the program. I'll hand it over to Catherine Meredith to explain more about the level two. Thanks, Sarah. Hello, thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Catherine Meredith, and I'm the, I've been with the organization since 2011. Um, I was the former rehearsal director for the company and um, am a frequent guest choreographer, uh, as well as teacher. I've spent over the last six years uh, taking the Horton uh, modern dance technique and translating that for wheelchair users. Um, so more about level two, upon successful completion of level one, participants may wish to expand and deepen their knowledge um, and uh, a, and signing up for level two. Um, in this 40 hour intensive training for dance educators, we're gonna build upon your knowledge from level one using the Dancing Wheels foundational principles and training method as a framework for creative inquiry and advanced practice. So what that means is um, that we're gonna actually provide continued and advanced certification training um, with where level one started off with a beginner and intermediate, we're gonna move into the intermediate advanced levels. While still um, using ballet and modern as our dance forms, we, we welcome and open it up to all genres of dance once again. Um, participants in the level two course will be able to recontextualize traditional modes of dance partnering and dance making within a physically integrated environment and hone their skills in developing translations for intermediate to advanced physically integrated dance classes. Um, this level two will focus more on partnering skills um, as well as wheel deepening the practice of wheelchair technique and then um, continuing uh, or beginning the focus on composition. So by the end of this program, you'll be able to demonstrate and teach intermediate advanced wheelchair dance techniques using our methodology. Uh, you'll be able to create a lesson plan for an advanced dance class, develop equitable criteria for student assessment in the physically integrated dance setting, um, 
Again, teaching an advanced level dance class in the genre of your choosing, and then applying partnering techniques using the dancing wheels methodology, determining advanced wheelchair dance techniques with regard to compositional structures. And finally, you'll be able to translate either an existing composition that you'll bring with you or create an original one during your time here using the Dancing Wheels methodology. Thank you all. Um, for more information on our training, certification trainings, you can visit our website at dancingwheels.org. Um, also to note that the uh, weeks for this year's training are July 12th through the 17th for level one and July 19th through the 24th for level two. The certification week, um, the cost is $1,250 for the entire week. And um, there are discounts available for taking back-to-back -back training, so for level one and level two. Um, obviously, uh, your uh, travel and accommodations would be uh, your responsibility uh, and arrangements made. But there are many more aspects that uh, you may want to inquire about, which you can do so uh, through our website uh, and contact our organization that way. So thank you very much for joining us and we hope to see you in the summer. Thank you. Thank you.